feeling better? I'm not going to cry over him. <laughs> I thought he was different. Should have known better. If Charles wants to marry some heiress for her daddy's money, that's his choice. I've worked with the Shelleys long enough to know that this kind of power play is what these people do. You deserve better. Which is why I'm taking the day off. Okay. Have lunch with me. Let's order lobster and champagne. Expensive lunch. Dee wouldn't have complained. She knows I work hard. I'm allowed to splurge. I can't afford it. Because I have put on so much weight from sitting in the flat car all day, I, I'm on a 200 calorie diet. Never heard of it. I'm saving my stomach for dinner, okay? The kids are cooking all of Diana's favorites, so. How did we make it this far without her? <laughs> Some idiot reporter wrote that I'm no longer Queen of Hearts. They even made a list of possible successes. So when's the coronation? They think they can dethrone me so easily. What's so important about that silly title, anyway? My reputation opens a lot of doors for fundraising. But you wouldn't know anything about that because you don't care for anyone other than yourself. People already know about your alcoholic mother, your illegitimate son, and your stint as a prostitute. I mean, social escort. Your reputation is what it is. Let it go, Jessica. Just send me the latest valuation reports. What's for breakfast? Shh. Sorry, Eric, what was that? <sighs> yes, let's meet up sometime next week. It's a bit early to be talking to your lawyer. I pay him enough. Why is he compiling your assets? You do that once in a while, don't you? <laughs> Eunice. You'll never guess what Jessica's doing. As if I'll waste my time trying. I suspect she's updating her will. Is it because she has a newly acquired son? Exactly my thoughts. Lucky Adam. Have you heard? You were loud enough. <laughs> Isn't it so nice of your mother to so quickly acknowledge and integrate Adam into her life? She's already making sure that she'll be taken care of when she passes on. What a devoted mum. <laughs> and this is our CEO, Ananya's office. She's taken the day off. Ah, oh, it's great to be the boss. I don't think Miss Davis will appreciate that remark. But it is great to be the boss. I'd like to be one someday. Ambitious. And this is Sherman, our CEO's PA. Also works for Hela. Caitlin, the new intern. It's nice to meet you. I'm so excited to be here. Our internship isn't just fun and games, you know? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't have come all the way from Perth if I just wanted to mess around. Oh, you're from Perth? And I used to live there. Yeah, I know. I did some research. <laughs> Researching the best way to get close to your boss. Very on, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's move on, shall we? Now, if you'd excuse me. See you later, Sherms. Wow, how come so many bad? We're making a special dinner tonight. At least we will, if some people get off their phones. You want anything? Yeah, two chin chow, please. Thank you. Caitlin hasn't replied me since yesterday. Maybe she's busy. Or I said something to make her upset, and now she's punishing me. <laughs> Are all people in relationships this needy? You don't get it. Long-distance relationships kind of mess with your head. I don't know what she's thinking, and I can't just meet her to talk about it. Oh, look at you. So in love. Okay. okay, stop irritating. It's mine. Queen of Hearts dethroned? Well, I guess after that scandal with Malcolm and Adam, I should have expected it. 
Forget about the title. Excuse me, it's good PR. If the public thinks that I'm some high net worth saint, it's easier to move Lux merchandise. But how are you going to salvage your reputation from that huge uproar? By creating an even bigger one. Hey. Are we okay now? Yeah, everything is fine. I was just uh, heading off to a meeting. Taylor stuff. Yoke, I'm not trying to take Jessica from you. Why would I think that? I mean, after all, you have your plate full with uh, Ella and Don. How are they, by the way? Um, I don't know. Work's been busy. Huh. Then maybe you should have spent the evening with them instead of cozying up with Jessica. I want to get to know Jessica. She's my mother. Doesn't hurt that she's rich? That's got nothing to do with it. Oh, so you're going to turn down your share of the inheritance? What inheritance? Ask your mom. Wait for me. What the hell? Ananya! Hey! Shopping? Marie! Yes, shopping. Did the shopping bags give it away? I heard about Charles and his new fiance. Yeah, you and everyone else. If you're feeling sorry for me, I assure you that is not necessary. Why would I feel sorry for you? You're stone cold Ananya Davis. When we were in Shelly Holdings, the girls had a running tally of the guys you dated. Guys I dated? <laughs> that was only a couple. <laughs> Joshua, Leonard, oh. Terrence, Thomas. 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 That was only in a span of six months. <sighs> we had to sort them out in alphabetical order to keep track. You were our hero. Ah, yes. Those were the good times. And here you are, single again. Now that we're both flying solo, well, how about Jinx and I? You can add more names to your collection. I'll pass. I've got dinner at home. You're turning down a night of partying to have dinner at home. <laughs> no wonder even James looked elsewhere. Wouldn't you know? Right. Well, when the old Ananya Davis gets back, ask her to give me a call. Ciao. Finally, we can go. What? I haven't finished my chin chow yet. And you can stay? You can't go. Why? Okay, I'm gonna go. I am done waiting for girls. Then you have to carry everything by yourself. Fine. Don't forget this one. That you can handle, okay? <sighs> oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm so sorry. Surprise! <laughs> when did you get here? Last night. You knew? How? She found me on social media. We've been planning this for weeks. Is that why you haven't been replying my messages since uh, yesterday? They don't exactly let you use your phone on the flight. Well, it's not really that long a flight. Maybe I wanted you to miss me a bit? A bit? He's been whining about how you're ignoring him the whole time. I wasn't, I swear. Okay, uh, how about you get home first and start cooking? By myself? Well, I haven't met Caitlin for like a month. Okay, fine. But hurry up. And? You're chopping the onions. Bye. <laughs> Take me out of your will. How did you find out? It doesn't matter. I don't want your money. Look, Adam, I wasn't there when you were growing up. I'm just trying to make it up to you. I'm not taking your money, and that's final. Three months. I started my internship today at KSUH. Surprise! Again. KSUH? Why? Why not? I study data science, so they thought attaching me to Hela would be a good fit. And I get to be with you and work with your auntie Ananya. Did you meet her? No, she had the day off. Okay. Aren't you happy that I'm here? I am. It's, it's just that, okay. See, no one knows that we're dating. And if Auntie Ananya finds out, then... Uh, why would a CEO care who her intern is dating? She won't find out. Yeah. So, where will you be staying? With you, of course. No, no, you can't. Uncle Ajay will freak. He seems pretty cool. I'm sure he'll be fine. 
let's not risk it, yeah? Maybe I can find you a hotel. What's your budget? Zero? I spend most of the money on the flight. And I still have to buy food and stuff. What? See, this is why you should have told me you were coming. We wouldn't be in the middle of this mess. I'm sorry. I just wanted to be with you. Please don't be like this. No, just next time, let me know what's going on with you. I need to know. Okay. I promise, no more surprises. Well, I'd better find you a place to stay for tonight, you know, until we come up with a permanent solution. I think there's a hostel near KSUH. Let me check. How much is it? Don't worry, I got that covered. Do you have a minute? For you, ah? No. <clears throat> I need your help. I want to start a charity for unconventional families. <laughs> what families? Underprivileged or single-parent families. <clears throat> you want me to donate money, ah? <laughs> oh, please. I know better than to do that. You need my help, ah? Still so rude. You don't even know what it's about. Let's say it, lah. I want you to be the face of the new charity. Me? Xiao ah! You are the Queen of Hearts. You do lah! Well, recently, people have been saying that there should be a new Queen of Hearts. So I thought you could take my place. No. I'd rather be Queen of Tao Hui. I wouldn't be so quick to decide if I were you. Having us both mothers of Ella and Yo, the switched babies, can you imagine the two of us doing something positive together? The publicity would be great. And that can go a long way for your interests. Like everyday soy. No, thank you. How come you're home? Shouldn't you be on your flagship? Oh, the, the car broke down, said the mechanics. But I saw it downstairs. Oh, he's <laughs> coming to tow it later. Is everything OK? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I worked on my F whole day. Okay. Is that for your mother's anniversary dinner later? Yeah, Nathan's coming over to help cook. Do you need any help? Nah, I got it covered. You look like you could do with a break. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Auntie Ananya? What's up? Have you noticed Dad's been kind of depressed lately? Just now, I found him sleeping on the couch. He didn't go on his flagship? Nah, he made up some story about the car breaking down. I know it's not true, because he'd be freaking out about the bill. Yeah, he did seem a little down this morning. I'll talk to him tonight. Thanks. Hey, you are coming home for dinner, right? Nina, it's our tradition. I wouldn't miss it. I'll be home around 7. Bye. See you. Where are you? Well, you don't come into the office, you're not answering your phone. You're the CEO. People need to know where you are. Okay, you can't just cut yourself off from the rest of the world because you're having a bad day. What a coincidence. This is exactly what you do to me every time you're in a funk with Emily. Welcome to my world. Feels great, doesn't it? Did you expect Maywan to agree to succeed you as Queen of Hearts? Well, you have to admit, if she did, it would have been big news. Imagine the headlines. Reigning Queen of Hearts bestows title on humble nobody. That's all moot, because that humble nobody said no. So, what's plan B? It's being executed as we speak. Anyway, it takes time for people to find out about everyday soil. Yeah, hopefully they'll find out before we close down. Mrs. Lowe, is it true that you and Jessica Shelley have launched a new charity for needy families? Uh, who are you? I'm Joe Tan from Living Today magazine. Simon Sim from the school. 
Jessica Shelley has also released a statement nominating you as the successor for the title of Queen of Hearts. Can you confirm this? No. And the charity? You tell that Jessica that I... ...was thrilled when Jessica asked her to collaborate on such a worthy cause. But... And so... Could you give us a moment? Ayah, that Jessica, anyhow tell them that I want to do the charity. I didn't say so. It's too late now. Look, how would it look if you tell the reporters that you're not supporting a charity for disadvantaged families? Oh. Look, it's good press. And every day so I could do with a bounce of publicity. Mrs. Slow? Look, the reporters are looking for a story. If you don't give them a positive story, they'll spin a negative one. That's stupid Jessica. Congratulations, you're a philanthropist now. Phew, what? Huh? Thank you for waiting. May one is ready to take your questions. What is this nonsense they're writing about Jessica? Big-hearted socialite teams up with Huawei seller to help needy families. <laughs> this one's my favourite. Saint Jessica names Baby Swap Mum as Queen of Hearts successor. Saint Jessica, after everything she's done. My, they've really lowered the bar for sainthood. Why on earth is she teaming up with Maywan? Let alone nominating her as the next Queen of Hearts. It's Jessica. She has a plan. Never a dull moment with that one. The kids really up their cooking game. Dinner was actually edible. Even the vegan stuff. Mm. Are you looking for a job? No. I'm shopping. Mm. You didn't drive today. Are you monitoring me? Mm. See, that defensiveness is a telltale sign. What's going on? My license got suspended. What? Why? Because I hit the guy. But you were helping the woman. Also, it was self-defense. Well, I guess the guy complained and she didn't say anything. They say they're investigating. I don't know how long it will take. You know what? You can work on your app. Yeah, you're often too tired after driving. Now you've got time. And who's going to pay the bills? Well, it just so happens that being the CEO comes with a pay raise. I can cover the bills while you're between jobs. Why can't you do that? Mm. I can't let you do this. I can't let you do that. Fine. Do you still have the contact for the property agent? Are you suggesting I sell the apartment? Well, if it helps you financially, why not? Just move to a smaller place. Have more cash in hand. Besides, you were seriously considering selling it anyway. Yeah, because I didn't get the price I wanted. No. Look, Ananya, I truly appreciate your offer. And your suggestions, but it's my family, I will manage it. Okay, I am also a part of the family. I'll manage it. Ken. I'm sleeping. Ken. No. Ken. I did what you asked. I'm giving the money away to people who need it. And Maywan is helping. Thank you. Is that really all you want? Yes. I'm not taking your money. And that's final. Okay, then tell me what can I do? to make it up to you. Set up a charity for struggling single-parent families. And could you make it a partnership between you and Auntie Maywan? <laughs> Why bring her into it? She and Ella were hurt by the bad press over me being your son. I didn't intend for that to happen. I know. I know. But if Auntie Maywan were to be involved with a high-profile charity with you, the reporters would have something good to write about her for a change. And that might help everyday Soy. <laughs> you know, you've only asked for things to make everyone else happy. It's all I really want, really. This is something I need to do for Ella and Don before I leave. Thanks for making this happen. For you, anything. So, vegan fish curry for my anniversary, huh? Oh, man, I miss eating. How can you talk about food at a time like this? You're mad at Charles's message. Wait for me. While he gets married? <laughs> That's a 
amazingly thoughtless. He's a man. How long am I supposed to wait? Technically, you are the one who asked him to wait up till Nikki turns 18. <gasps> That's completely different. Waiting for Nikki to grow up is different from waiting for a married man. I'm not gonna make the same mistake my mother made. Talking to you sucks. Technically, you're talking to yourself. I'm just oh, embodying... shut up! Okay. The older Nanya's gone and it's your fault. What did I do? <laughs> you left me with three kids. <gasps> Four! Mm. Since then, I've been cleaning up after them and I've... I've gotten used to it. Now, if I'm not mothering someone, it just feels empty. Anand, yeah. Having a family and a guy to count on is priceless. There was a time I could dump him and leave him. Now all I want is to be in a relationship with a man who's marrying someone else. It's okay to love someone. It's your fault it hurts so much. He's given me a ton of great advice. I only did what anyone else would. Like how it's apparently important that I tell you that I'm from Perth. Because you lived there once. Did you know? Yeah, because both of us have so much in common. Much more than you'll ever have with Sherman. Which means we'll get along much better than you will with Sherman, right? Yeah, I guess so. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we're going to enjoy having you around. 